Hello YouTube and welcome to Go Girl Gaming's coverage of the game Arc Age. On this channel I'll be covering housing, farming, crafting, auction house use, and trading. This is a trading video as we are on our... I can't... I'm trying to show the logo but it's not cooperating. But we are on the merchant ship. You can carry 20 trade packs on the merchant ship. You'll need so there's our lovely logo. So you'll need some person, one person to stay on the boat and man it. <laughs> and man it. Right now we're having a little technical difficulty. Don't drink and sail, people. So just gonna take you along on the trip here as we anyway the merchant ship has 20 trade pack capacity it has four cannons sorry if I sound a little disjointed but I'm actually listening to my guild in a chat program as well as trying to um, do this video this lovely thing is binoculars, so I'm going to take a look and see what it shows. And right now, it doesn't appear to be showing anything unless it's on my map, so let me do the view mini-map. Oh, here we go. Let's see, look through the binoculars, and then disembark from current device. So, looking through the binoculars... Oh! And it shows me what other ships are in the area. There's a galleon right in front of us. We're in safe water, so we're fine. Um, and there is another large ship. Hey, guys, there's another large ship uh, in front of us somewhere. Aside from that galleon that's on the right, just FYI. So you can use the binoculars for that. And it looks like we're having another difficulty. So I'm going to disembark from the binoculars. So that's a handy dandy little tool to see what ships are around you. I'm assuming it will show both friend and, well, quote unquote friend. There really are no friends in this game. But <laughs> other than your guild makes and, uh, well, they can turn on you too. So <laughs> but there are also breathing apparatuses for underwater breathing. I'm trying to see how many there are counting two and basically this basically looks like a giant clipper ship really now that I'm actually on one because I've seen them but I don't like being rude and just hopping on people's boats for no reason uninvited so this is actually my first time even if you include alpha and beta actually riding aboard a merchant ship. I had seen one and kind of gotten on one at Mirage Isle, but this is the first time I've actually ridden on one. And it's two cannons. I thought it was four. But two cannons, 20 trade pack capacity, so you definitely need a crew. One person needs to stay on the wheel at all times in order to keep up the owner's mark and to drive but once you get to where we're going because I'm going to leave it on we're just doing a same side run and we're not even at full capacity because um, we're also going to do some overland to uh, maximize our value so that this is the merchant ship. And I also have some footage of the Loot Song Junk, which is a warship. It's a galleon. It does have a four trade pack capacity, and it has about eight cannons on it. So its primary purpose is for um, war. There's also the Esna Cutter. It's the exact same thing. It's just 
they just look different. It's like Harani housing versus Nuiya housing. Same concept. So here we are coming up on Dewstone. I don't know. I was answering a question there as far as best place to and we're tilting! <laughs> Look at that! Tilting! So we're, right now we're looking for a good place to park to load because we're going to load up our um, farm carts and wagon. Ooh, right there! That's a good spot right there. To the left. That's a good question. <coughs> they shouldn't be. Mine are in the back. These three right here are mine. Um, but we should be able to reclaim them. Remember we had that issue... We're talking about trade pack claiming. Remember we had that issue, Albion, when we um, went to... When we picked up each other's stuff and it traded. Who owner and you just had to put it back down. So once we pick it up, that should take care of owner. Basically what has happened is that since this is our guildmate circle ship ownership of all the packs have gone to him but that should change once once we um, Nevertheless, the ownership should go back once you pick it up. Should, but we'll see. I don't want to touch his packs just in case. Well, I don't know, because once he turns it in, it should go back. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Where are your... Who is that down there? Albion? Where are yours? Where did you put yours? I'm going to pick it. What is this? Okay, I got a palm cake, so this has to be it. And here... Oh, that's all four. Oh. Okay, well, I have one. <laughs> I have one of your palm cakes, dude. <laughs> And since I down, I guess I'm going to be the next one. Oh! Oh, that was Reaver. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry. Oh, shizzle. Don't put it in yet. We got to make sure Albion can get the fuck out. Sorry for my fringe. <laughs> Just make sure you get it out. Make sure you get it out. How many was in there? Okay. I'm going to grab one. And I think Mappin's grabbing the other. Oh, he just grabbed mine. Thanks, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, you were grabbing the one I was aiming for. It just disappeared. Oh, Mr. Grabby. <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna go grab one for mappin. Nappin' mappin! Card, Al man. That will be me, of course. Yes, yeah, sure. Says the what? Summoning. Give me a sec. Too busy running into his uh, trade, his cart, wagon, whatever. One sec. Don't move. Careful round in that corner. <coughs> but it was fun. And I got to make a video. <laughs> we always knew you couldn't drive. I'm being told that the controls for the merchant ship are sluggish, but I'm going to ask if that might be a... Is is that be... Why do you think that is? Is that really because of the boat? Or... Okay, so he's saying that he thinks the... So he's saying that he thinks they made the controls be less responsive so that it won't be a super boat. So it's like a, re -ba a balancing thing. Saying that compared to the clipper, the boat is significantly less responsive, but that's so that it won't be like a super boat. So bear that in mind. The merchant ship is less responsive. So now we are doing the overland portion of our journey. And this is going to take a bit, so I'm going to pause it just in case we run into some farm cart shenanigans. Like I got stuck big time last time again. So we shall see what happens. If something interesting happens, I'll come back. Otherwise, I will.
will end the video here, so I'm going to have to see. If I do, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, stay tuned for more arcade videos from Go Girl Gaming, housing, farming, crafting, auction houses, and trading! Stay tuned.